Hi, in the previous lecture, you learned about messages, which is the primary method by which a node will pass data to another node. There's another way to do that as well, and that is done via variables. With variables, it's possible to pass data between nodes in the same uh, flow, but also nodes across different flows. So I'm going to give you a few examples, a few demonstrations uh, that use messages, that use variables to do that. I want to point out that there is a very good page, a documentation page in the Node Red website, which is this one here. And I encourage you, of course, to have a look at this. It will give you a lot of details. Uh, in this lecture, I'm going to focus on examples. So a central concept in Node Red is the context, which has got the same meaning as a context in programming, in any programming language. So when it comes to variables uh, in Node Red, the context can be the node or a flow or global. So node, of course, means that you can create variables that are only accessible inside the node. In particular, that is true for function nodes where you write small JavaScripts. Flow means the context within uh, a flow, okay, within a tab, all of the nodes inside uh, a tab, which is a flow, can access uh, variables that have been created within this flow. And then for the global variables, we are talking about variables that can be accessed and can be shared across multiple flows. To demonstrate the different kinds of variables, especially flow and global variables, I'm going to use my DHT22 example flow as the starting point. So this is the flow that you are already familiar with from the previous lecture. What I'll do is I'm going to disable those debug messages. And I've just actually added uh, another debug node here so that I can print out the uh, temperature and humidity to the debug window. So if I trigger it, actually I should deploy first. So I'll trigger this flow and this is what you get. Now the idea here is that instead of printing out the temperature and humidity by connecting the debug nodes directly to the DHT22 node, what I'll do is I'm gonna store these two values in flow and in global variables, and then access them by triggering a different part of the flow or by getting them uh, in a totally different flow and presenting them into the debug window again. So I'm gonna start with local flow variables. There's a couple of different ways to work with variables, whether they are global or flow. And that is by creating them and accessing them programmatically inside a function node or by using one of the compatible nodes. So first I'm going to work with a compatible node and then I'm also going to show you the second way of doing that through functions, which is obviously a lot more flexible. So before we can read a flow variable, we need to create it. And to do that, we'll use the change node. And we grab a change node and place it up here and then connect my DHE22 node to the change node. Inside the change node, I'm going to create two rules. I'm going to set a flow a variable called temperature to whatever message dot payload contains. As you know, uh, payload is the variable that contains the temperature. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for humidity. I'm gonna set the humidity flow to message dot humidity. And that's it. Um, I might put another debug message here so that, let's see, I'm going to add another message and set the payload that will come out of the change node to say something like variables set. All right, so then that output will go into the debug node here. Now I'm going to give it a name, variable, variables set confirmation. 
All right. So what I've got now is a DHE22. We'll take a, a, a measurement. It will pass the data on to the change rule. The change rule is going to set the flow dot temperature and flow dot humidity variables. And then it's also going to set the message dot payload variable to this string so that in the next node, the uh, debug node, I'm just going to print out that message that the variables have been uh, set as a confirmation. So let's see how that works so far. I'm going to deploy and then tr trigger this flow and you can see that variables are set. So now we want to be able to read them, right? So let's go ahead and do the reading of those flow variables. To do that I'm going to use an inject node and in that inject node I am going to read a flow variable first the temperature i'll give it a name read flow temperature variable read flow temperature variable i don't need the second topic done and then print it out to the debug window i just say show temperature, actually flow temperature value, like that. And I'll do the same thing for humidity. So I'll just copy and paste the original uh, node and change this to humidity. And now I want to get the humidity flow variable, variable. like that. I can actually connect this uh, node to the same uh, debug node if I want. And I can just say show flow values like this. Since for both of these inject nodes, the message is printed or is, is stored inside the message payload variable. And that should work. I'm going to test it. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to split this into two debug nodes. All right, so let's deploy that and clean up. And first, we want to get a reading from the DHE22 sensor. So there's the reading. And next, I want to read the flow variables. First, the temperature one, there it is. And then second, the flow variable for humidity. And there it is. So as you can see, these two sub flows are not connected through a wire, so no messages are being passed around directly, but they do communicate via flow variables. And to stop uh, flooding the debug window with messages every 10 seconds from the DHE22. I'm just going to disable those two debug nodes. All right. One thing to notice here is that every time that the DHE22 is triggered and then the flow variables are changed or updated, I get confirmation that variables have been set from this debug node. Now let's do the same thing, but pass those variables over to a second flow in a different tab. So to do that, we need to use global variables. So let's go ahead and do that. First, I'm going to go back into my change node and add another two sets. So the first one is going to go to a global temperature variable. So it's going to set the global temperature variable. And of course, uh, we want to grab the value from message payload for this. And the second one, you can probably guess it, we'll do the same thing, but for global. So I'm just going to copy humidity. And then the value for the global dot humidity variable will come from MSG humidity. So the message object dot humidity and done. Then I'm going to copy these three nodes. So Command-C to copy. I'm going to paste them in 
my new flow in the variables flow and I'm just going to change flow to global and again flow to global for the payload and that should be enough uh, I'm just going to change this to show global values global values and deploy all right so let's trigger the DHE22 sensor we've got variables set and then go into the variables and context example flow and take a reading so the second one the humidity works the first one does not why is that global temperature so i must have miswired something let's go back in my rules and let's see humidity did not work okay so this is interesting so i'll just show you again the problem here so let's have a look at the global variables i'm going to trigger the temperature variable first hmm. and it's giving me a variable set which is not temperature i'm going to look into this in a moment and what about the humidity yes and humidity works so there's a little bug here um, let's try and figure out why this is happening so I'm going to go back to my DHT22 example flow and then inside the change node and let's see I think the problem is right here so you can see that in this step in this rule I should say we set the payload to be variables set just a, a string of text and then in the next one I'm setting temperature to be the payload which is what I've set or I've reset to be the string variables set so this is where the bug is to fix it I need to move the payload set to the bottom of the list of rules so that the global temperature variable is set to message payload before message payload is changed all right so that should do it i'm going to deploy again and uh, the flow is still still working yep, i'm going to trigger it actually just to be sure okay and then go into variables and check temperature and that's 22 degrees and the humidity all right so that works so now you can see that we can use global variables set by this change rule so that uh, these variables can be accessed across multiple flows now one thing that i also want to do is to have the ability to clear those variables so uh, I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment again using the change rule but before we do that and uh, show you how to reset or how to, to clear the flow or global variables I'm going to show you how to set them and read them using JavaScript inside a function node so let's pick a function node i'm going to place it up here and connect it to the dht22 node like this and then in it i'm going to just do a bit of copy and paste to save me a bit of typing like this so programmatically you can set a flow variable by using flow.set first parameter you give your variable a name and then the second parameter whatever value you want to store in it in this case i'm going to store the value stored in message.humidity inside the humidity flow variable and the value stored in msg.payload inside the temperature flow variable i'm also going to give this function a name and that's about it i don't really care what comes out of it because i I'm not going to connect anything to this particular function node. All right. So this is how you can set a variable. And now let's read those two local or flow variables using a function node and a little bit of JavaScript inside it. So here's my function node. I'm going to go in 
and copy a little bit of code that does the reading. So it looks like this, very simple. I'm using flow.get, then pass on the name of the flow variable that I want to get the value of. And whatever comes back, we'll store it in the humidity local, actually uh, node variable. I'm doing the same thing for the temperature flow variable. All right, now I would like to get those two variables sent out to debug nodes. And I want to have two different debug nodes connected to this function. So I'm going to create a, an array that contains two small JSON documents inside. So each one has got its own payload. First one has got the temperature, the second one, the humidity. You've seen this notation before. So this is gonna have two outputs. And before I forget, I will give this function node a name. All right, so here is our function and we need two debug nodes. Of course, I could simply connect those two outputs to this debug uh, node, but I just keep things tidy and separate for now. All right, so the first one is going to be the temperature. Let's call it flow temperature. And the second one is going to be the flow humidity. And last, I need some way to trigger this function. So again, I'll use an inject node. All right, I'll just send it um, a number. It doesn't really matter what it is. Whatever it is, it will trigger the function node. So I call it trigger. All right, so deploy, clean up, and first trigger the DHG22 sensor, variables are set, and then let's trigger the function to read them out. There you are. Okay. Now the last thing to do is to uh, expand our function here so that it also sets global variables so that we can read them from a separate flow. You can probably figure out how to do that. It's very easy. So first, I'm just going to duplicate these two lines. And instead of flow, uh, we'll say global. And click on done. Then I'm going to copy this set of nodes and paste it in my separate flow like that. And all I've got to do to make this work is to change flow to global. And that should work. So let's give this a go. Uh, deploy and clean. The variables are already in memory, so I'm going to click on trigger. Uh, these are the flow. Oh, see, there's the, these are the, the global variables now coming through the debug window. Awesome, so now you know how to use both global and flow variables. One thing I should mention is that these variables and the values are stored in memory. When you deploy the flow or even if you go through full deployment or even our restarting of the flows, those variables still remain in memory and they will only change if uh, you do so via the function or change node. Now, if you want to uh, reset or even delete these variables uh, in order to start from a clean slate, and this is particularly important uh, when you are debugging and you're testing on your flow, then you have to do that manually, again, using a change node. So let's do that now. I'm going to take a change node and then go in and say that this is going to be a, a node that cleans or cleans all variables and just choose the delete rule. So you want to delete humidity at the flow level, delete flow, actually uh, make the global 
humidity and then another two delete flow temperature and again delete global temperature and I want to also set a notification so I'm going to use a debug node to indicate to me that variables have been deleted all right then let's have our debug window to confirm deletion so i'm going to call that delete confirmation and again i need that trigger so i'm going to copy the trigger node and connect it to the change node all right so i'm going to deploy and first let's see what is inside our flow uh, variables so i'm going to trigger flow variables and you can see that they do have defined values then i'm going to trigger the cleaner so trigger clean all variables and variables deleted then i'm going to trigger again uh, the read flow um, variables so now let's have a look at the flow variables. You can see that they are not defined. I just noticed I need to make a little correction here. So this should be get, not set, right? Okay. Now, if I want to reset the global flow variables, I just need to trigger this subflow. So that's a value stored in those variables. And then I can check them out again. You can see that they are now set. Same thing happens, of course, at the global context. So right now, the global context has got values. If I clean those variables, I'm going to clean again because in the meantime, <laughs> they were set. So clean them and then test them. And you can see that they're undefined. Okay, so with this, you now know everything you need to know to be able to work with flow and global variables uh, in the context of this project. So in the remaining lectures in this section, I'm going to demonstrate the use of several other nodes from the left uh, toolbar that we'll be using in this project.